in this video, I'll show you how to interact uh, with your spreadsheet using the GPT Workspace AI sidebar. So first things first, I'm going to open the sidebar. And now let's imagine I need to do some kind of financial analysis on a company. So here I'm going to click on add a, attach a file. And this file here is going to be at the, um, the last Apple financial statement. So I'm going to click on open and it's going to load. And then the data that interests me is um, which category of product made the most money for Apple. So I'm going to ask, uh, I want the net sales by category in the last 12 months. All right. So it's going to read the file and extract the relevant data. So, all right, we have the phone, the Mac, the iPad, uh, the wearable home and accessories and the services. All right. So now I would like to insert this in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to ask, create a table out of it. So he would like to insert directly in the spreadsheet. I would like to check first that the table looks like uh, I want. So no, please uh, show it in the chat first. All right, so now it's creating a table. I'm gonna say, please insert the table. No. All right, so inserted the data here. So this is pretty cool. Um, now I would like to visualize this data because this data is not uh, super uh, readable as of right now. So I'm going to ask, please create a pie chart based off the table. So pie chart is an example here, but you can do basically any kind of chart. Uh, you can do column chart. Okay, so here now the data is way more visible. I can see that the iPhone dominates the sales of uh, Apple in the last 12 months. And uh, that their service business is now a pretty big part of their revenue. Anyways, so that was a quick example on how to use GPT Workspace to extract data, create a table out of it, and then create a graph out of it. We'll see you in the next video.